Hello, beautiful people. Hola, amigos y amigas. I am coming to you this morning with the sun energizing me, giving me warmth. This is my third cup of tea for some reason. I just, spirit told me to really hydrate myself with tea this morning. Uh, today is, ooh, we are gonna tap in. Uh, today is a very powerful day. I mean, really every day is, but tomorrow is November 11th, 11-11. And that, my friends, is a portal to ascension, to manifestation, and it is just days before the new moon in Scorpio, which we're gonna get into. And today is preparing, is beginning to open that portal of 11-11. So 11-10 is a powerful day of preparation, of getting centered and grounded, it's a beautiful day to reflect, to get your feet, the sole of your feet, to touch the sole of the earth. It is very, very, it's a very powerful, beautiful thing for you to be barefoot on the dirt, on the sand, on the grass, uh, because you are not only absorbing earth's energy, through the sole of your feet. And it is not a coincidence that the bottom of your foot in which keeps you ground, of which keeps you grounded is called the sole. Okay, it's not a coincidence, soul and soul. But you're also allowing the earth to absorb you and to experience you. It's, 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 it's beautiful. So that is definitely one very powerful way to energize yourself, to center yourself, to ground yourself. But yes, uh, today is a wonderful day to do that. To be out in nature, to go outside, to go for a walk, to really uplift your spirits, to start getting yourself in that meditative, uh, reflective space of intention. Uh, so I'm very excited. I'm very excited for today. I woke up at 4 a.m. to do my morning ritual. Uh, and like I said, three cups of tea uh, is just right for me. No, but really. Excited for today. Already feeling good. Uh, really wanted to come on here and talk about this new super new moon in Scorpio that is taking place specifically on Sunday the 15th of November but its energy is so potent and so powerful and so strong that we're really gonna feel it on Saturday as well uh, and I mean if you haven't noticed the new moon has already made itself known has already kind of presented itself in the world new moons signify new beginnings uh, they welcome they encourage you to to start new right like everything these moon cycles like are very uh in alignment with our own cycles. Um, if you really observe life and everything around you and even within yourself, like everything is a cycle, everything has a routine. The universe operates off of routine and system. That's why routines and rituals are so powerful. Um, like, have you ever noticed that when you yourself create a routine for yourself, you're, you're more productive, you feel better. It's not a coincidence. And so when we really tap into these moon cycles, it's like we're tapping into our power. We're, we're 
tapping into the moon allows us to, to foster more energy into what we want to create and what, what we want to let go. Full moons more so are for letting go. Um, if you haven't noticed, uh, and try to pay attention now if you're interested. But every time a full moon comes around, you probably start thinking about like things that you need to let go of, um, things that aren't serving you, perhaps a lesson keeps repeating itself around the full moon, a test, a reoccurring test that you haven't passed, a lesson that you haven't learned yet might be a little more uh, on the forefront surrounding the full moon and that's because the full moon is encouraging you to let go it's bringing this forth it's it's bringing it more present into your life so that you can really take note of it so you can really feel it so you can let go of it and so the new moon might be making you feel inspired it might be making you feel ready to pursue you pursue your goals um uh it might be your passion might be louder surrounding the new moon um and if you're not in alignment with your soul purpose and with your passions perhaps around the new moon you're you're you might feel more out of out of tune and out of alignment um and so if that's the case then that means that you have more releasing to do um even though full moons are more so for releasing you can definitely do releasing on the new moon as well but uh, i can just go on and on and on talking about this and it's not scripted so that's why it's like it's just coming out um, it might not be coming out perfect, but uh, it's not always just about manifesting, you know? Um, I, I honestly feel like, especially in the society that we live in, we're going to be doing a lot more releasing that we, than we are going to be doing intentional manifesting, is how I should correct it. A lot of us say, like, we want to manifest, but in reality, we're always manifesting. The goal is to manifest intentionally, right? Um, not just manifesting from your subconscious, but consciously manifesting and creating the life that you desire. Uh, so even in new moons, like right now, if, if you're not necessarily feeling inspired or like a surge of ideas are coming to you or like it's time to pick up a project that you let go of or pick up a new project that you've had in mind for a while or to really just like get to work and create this new beginning for yourself that means that you have more letting go and releasing to do and i do have uh an amazing uh digital workbook both for releasing it guides you through prompts and exercises and meditations and affirmations to release in all areas of your life. And I also have a digital workbook on manifesting in different areas of your life. So definitely check that out. I'll link it in the description below. But the reason why I am so excited about this new moon in Scorpio that is taking place this weekend, uh, which just again in the world more specifically and more recently the elections uh, already signifying uh, change coming perhaps even after that because it was such a collective energy uh, you may have felt like a breath of fresh air um, like a newfound inspiration like you're starting to kind of like believe in yourself again, believe in the planet, believe in our society, believe in the possibilities. That is the new moon in Scorpio energy, the super new moon. Uh, I believe it's the last super moon of 2020. Could be wrong, I have to double check. But the simple fact 
that it is in Scorpio. Scorpio is no shade to all the other signs, but Scorpio is the most powerful sign in the zodiac. It is the most intense sign in the zodiac. Um, it is the most transformative sign in the zodiac. And the reason why that is, is because Scorpio itself transforms. It is the shape shifter of all the signs because the Scorpio goes through its own transformations and I see that come up in my life basically every year. And there are three well-known phases of the Scorpio evolution. It's the scorpion and then it's the eagle and then it's the phoenix. And the phoenix is the highest self of the Scorpio. The phoenix, uh, the Scorpio arrives to the phoenix when the Scorpio has allowed itself to die, to completely burn itself down to ashes in order to be reborn, to experience rebirth, a renewed self, a higher self, an ascended self, and turn into the phoenix. So that's why uh, the Scorpio is incredibly, an incredibly transformative sign, an intense sign, because Scorpios allow themselves to, you know, experience death. Scorpios are just not afraid to confront the dark. And so since this new moon in Scorpio is coming up, it's an extremely transformative time for us. Like this is really the time to let go of everything that you need to let go of so that you can manifest. You are being called right now to claim your new reality and step into it and really, really believe in yourself. Um, we even, I mean, if we take a look at the seasons and why Scorpio takes place in the time of year that it takes place, uh, it's fall right now, right? And what happens during this season? The leaves change, nature changes, it's beginning to let go, it's beginning to shed, it's beginning to transform itself. That is exact, that is Scorpio energy taking place. And in order to manifest, when you manifest intentionally, you have to make space, right? You have to clear space. And in order to clear space, you have to release, you have to let go of things so that you can make space for the new, right? So that is why I'm just so excited for the new moon, super new moon in Scorpio this weekend because I personally, and you might be feeling the same, I am just like so ready to pursue all the ideas that have been circulating in my mind the past few months. I'm so ready to pick up on the energy that I walked into this year with, except now I just feel more rejuvenated, more aware, more awakened, right? Than when we first entered this year. So it's just a really, really powerful time. Uh, and I just really want to encourage all of you to really believe in yourselves, to allow yourselves to transform, to allow yourselves to hold space for yourself and allow whatever wants to come up to come up, to really feel your emotions, to really finally allow yourself to confront the things that you may have been avoiding so that you can finally move past that, grow through that, because it is impossible to release anything from your life until you confront it. If you never confront it, it's just gonna be sitting there, taking up space in your life. And it's gonna be harder to manifest. 
I have always felt just looking at my life and my journey that I experience um, what is going to happen in the collective a little earlier than everyone else does. So for example, I really had to experience um, my scorpionic evolution even just in the past few months, right? Like stepping into this year completely thriving to really, really seeing destruction um, and dismantling taking place in the collective and then in my own life the dismantling that had to take place, that was taking place, allowing myself to step into the darkness, to not be afraid. And, and in the moments that I was afraid, not let the fear stop me from stepping in and learning and really figuring out why that darkness is there, where the darkness came from, how I can overcome the darkness, why I am safe, now why i no longer need to be afraid right and that is the same for you so really going through that darkness if you watched my last video where i kind of gave you my real life check-in you'll see that you know i experienced death experienced grieving experienced covid uh experienced losing my space my home um, and I always, always, always end up coming up top after what may seem to others like the darkest of times because I allow myself to experience these things and I always end up being rewarded and afterwards it's like this whole new reality and sometimes even myself, even now, looking around and seeing that I am really in my new apartment, I'm, I'm in my own space. It is absolutely beautiful. My plants, I'm gonna add more greenery here. I got some new stuff. I got rid of some old furniture and things that were carrying old energy. And I am just in awe, I'm constantly in awe of my life because sometimes it can go from darkness to light so quickly. And that's because again, I allow myself to experience everything fully um and the sooner you allow yourself to experience the darkness to experience the discomfort to experience the uncertainty the unknown uh and really really try to process it i mean i'm still processing things but the universe everything just operates off of energy and if you are intentionally allowing yourself to step into the darkness with the intention of bettering yourself and bettering yourself betters all of humanity, the universe is always going to reward you. So if you've kind of delayed yourself from confronting things that you need confront, to confront and let go of and process, then that's gonna be coming up for you right now because the new this new moon sincerely wants the best for you sincerely wants you to pursue your dreams to go after your deepest desires because now is the time now is the time that the collective needs to be uplifting the world now is the time to heal now is the time to really recollect ourselves and take what we have learned this year and apply it in our lives um, take advantage of the awakening that we have been experiencing. Um, and if you have been doing the work, I just want to say, mm, I am so proud of you because I know it can be so hard. Um, and the healing never stops, you know, like it never stops. It never ends. Healing like I, I wrote in one of my poems, healing is a lifetime's process. It's not even something that's going to end in this lifetime. It's going to be in all your lifetimes that your soul is going to be healing and healing, healing. Um, and the goal is to heal as much as possible and align with your soul's purpose, your highest self in this lifetime, so that in the next lifetime you step into it 
with even more knowledge, with even more purpose, with a higher vibration, uh, with a better sense of knowing. And every lifetime you're just gonna get better and better. Uh, I strongly believe that. So I really just wanted to come on here. Hopefully uh, it inspired you in some way, shape or form. Hopefully you feel a little bit more clear on why you're feeling the way that you're currently feeling. But right now is the time. Right now is, is really truly the time to pursue your dreams, to write down your intentions, to tap into your deepest desires. And I know that that's a practice. I know that that is a practice, that is a muscle that you have to strengthen. Um, but once you intentionally manifest more and more into your life and you see that this magic of intention and manifestation is real, you're gonna get better at it. Your expansiveness is gonna grow more. Um, your ability to see clearly of what is possible for you in this life is going to become clearer. Your vision is going to, your tunnel vision is going to be longer and more expansive um, and more focused. So it really is a practice. And now is the time. Now is the time to tap into that 2020 vision, to really prepare yourself to step into 2021 with this renewed sense of confidence that you overcame that you no longer fear and that you know that you can do whatever it is you set your mind to um i am so excited for this new moon super new moon in scorpio this weekend that i decided to create a one 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 super new moon workshop in which i will be guiding you through a writing practice a ritual writing practice for the new moon uh, to really set clear and specific intentions the universe loves it when you are specific loves it when you're able to feel whatever it is that you want to manifest in your life and i wanted to make it only one dollar and eleven cents one 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 because I felt like it and also because 111 signifies uh, manifestation and prosperity and I've also been seeing 111 so much in the past few months so it only felt right after that I will be leading these workshops for my patrons in my patreon it's going to be free for all of those who are subscribed to my patreon um, I'll be doing both new moon and full moon uh, guided ritual writing practices so I'm really really excited I really want to bring together a collective and really just vibe off of each other and cultivate these high frequencies because that will make our intention setting even more powerful um, did I finish telling you about how I see myself experiencing yes I think I did how I just went through the super dark time and now it's the light and it's like, I really allow myself to experience this death. Allow myself to like burn to ashes so I can be reborn and turn into the Phoenix. And it's like this every year. It's like, I allow myself to like really, really put in the work before my birthday and then boom, November 3rd comes up, Scorpio season comes around and I turn into this Phoenix and I have ascended and I am so proud of just all the transformative work that I have allowed myself to experience. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited and I really want you to take advantage of these moon cycles. It's so powerful. It's so powerful to tap into the universe's rituals and systems and cycles because yeah, it just, it just aligns you with the universe and everything just becomes so much more powerful and potent okay i can go on and on talking about this uh if you have anything you'd like to add or if you have any questions or anything like that please leave them below in the comments uh and i'll also link 
all other information uh, about the workshop and my Patreon and all of that good stuff in the description below. If you like this video, please click subscribe, click the thumbs up button, and I will be seeing you soon. Take advantage of today and tomorrow, the 1111 portal, okay? It's all, it's all on time. It's all on purpose, okay? Hmm, okay. Bye, thank you.